Hey, good morning. Welcome back. You can see our visibility map showing where fog is still trying to develop this morning. Over the last couple of mornings, we've seen foggy conditions try to get started. And, you know, due to conditions this morning, this afternoon, almost a repeat of yesterday, uh, expect fog again this morning. But the thing is, we are going to see uh, the fog become much more patchy this morning. It's not going to be anywhere near as widespread as it was yesterday. The thing is, uh, you still need to be careful because even if you start out your drive this morning and, you know, it looks clear, you might still run into a patch of some dense fog. You see visibility is reduced Robinson, Terre Haute down to four miles of visibility, while other areas like Paris. Vincent's perfect 10 miles of visibility. So just be careful outside. Uh, you still might run into fog despite the fact that some areas are clearer than others. Now we're in the mid 50s and Terre Haute lower 60s right now. Temperatures, you know, right along the 60 degree line. We have some cool spots like Robinson and Terre Haute. You're in the lower 50s, mid 50s in Terre Haute. But overall, we're going to see temperatures start to bounce back a bit faster today. Not much but just a bit, you know, we're going to be in the mid 80s this afternoon. We were in the mid to lower 80s yesterday afternoon, and this is the game we're playing where our temperatures are slowly each day. I mean, a little bit higher, and this is going to lead to a significant uh, a temperature increase by the time it's all said and done with by the end of this week and start of the next work week. So summer like weather is on its way back, and the sunlight that we're going to see today is going to help out with that. The other thing it's going to help out with is getting rid of the fog this morning. You see this is around seven uh, on our future cast. You can see where fog Fog spread out across the Wabash Valley. Look how it dissipates as we move later in the morning as the sun gets higher in the sky. Again, that sunlight likes to get rid of the fog pretty quick, and that's what's going to happen today. And we're going to see mostly clear skies throughout the rest of this afternoon. So we got clear skies, calm conditions at first. And then by the end of the afternoon, the winds are going to start to pick up speed. They're not going to be very strong, but they are going to start bringing in warmer air. And this is going to fuel a warm up as we move through the next couple of days. Now you can see this is 11 p.m. tonight. We do have some partly cloudy conditions. To the northwest, Paris, Charleston, Mattoon area, Casey, maybe some minor cloud cover to begin uh, the overnight. Here is around 11, but not significant. It's going to continue to be clear and sunny throughout these next couple of days. Now we're in the mid 80s this afternoon, mostly sunny. Again, winds out of the southeast, very light, continuing to pick up some strength. Tonight, 60 degrees, not as low with the temperatures because of that warm breeze out of the southeast. And then tomorrow we're in the mid 80s, just a tiny bit higher uh, with our temperatures compared to this afternoon. Still sunny and warm. You can see our seven day forecast showing this slow warm up continue through these next several days. Our next chance of rain will be early Monday. But look at this 90s on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, very hot, uncomfortable for this part of the year and you know above normal for September. So all the more reason to get outside while it's more comfortable today or tomorrow.